I hope you're having a great day and I hope you're staying safe at home. <clears throat> Haven't gone live for the last two days. I've been traveling, been busy with patients, but today I want to share a message with everyone. When it comes to resetting your physical health, when it comes to resetting your emotional wellness, when it comes to resetting your sleep cycles, <clears throat> your exercise, and every given point in life, human beings have this beautiful gift. We have a reset button in all of us. We can decide right now in the next minute, in the next second to hit a reset button and change. We can decide to reset any part of our life. Yes, it's gonna be difficult. No one ever said that resetting is gonna be easy. No one ever said that life is gonna be easy. So today when you have diabetes, you have Alzheimer's, you have cancer, you have some medical ailment, or you're looking at how to improve your energy levels, your skin, your hair, clarity of thought, your emotional wellness. You don't feel good no matter how much you have going on well for you in life. You have a lot of success, but yet you feel empty within. How do you hit the reset button? There are many things that you can do. We can reset our hair by spending money on a lot of expensive shampoos, skin products, superfoods, gyms, trainers, nutritionists, all of that is good. But to really reset, we have to align ourselves with the laws of nature. Over the last couple of months, something that's worked beautifully for a lot of our patients and people all across the world is sometimes just hitting the reset button. Because we have an intelligence within all of us that is designed to keep us alive, to heal us, to repair when things go wrong. And of course, sometimes it doesn't work. That's destiny. No matter what you do, you may still get a deadly disease, you may succumb to it, you may recover from it. That's destiny. We don't understand destiny, we keep it in the dark side of the room, but we focus on what we can see right in front of us, what we can do. I have a simple exercise for everyone watching this today and whoever watches this video in the future. Try to reset your entire life by doing this one thing. It may be difficult for you to do it, but it's not impossible. Okay, you may have things like work schedules, travel, coming up in between, but do your best. Where there's a will, there is a way. And a lot of people who couldn't ever think that they could do what I'm about to tell you are now doing it without a problem at all. When the human, when the human mind decides to do something, it will start to do it. When you decide enough is enough, things will start to change. But most people have not yet made that decision that I want to commit to better health. I want to commit to building my relationship. I want to commit to nourishing myself. I want to commit to feeling good irrespective of the struggles I have in life. People are not willing to decide. And when you decide, everything goes forward. Like a lot of people who are athletes and win Olympic medal winners, people who are successful in business, they decide what they want and they do it no matter what the ups, the downs, the struggles. So the human mind has to decide. The very simple thing I'm asking you to do, a lot of you watching this, I can see names right now are already doing this, is, I'm gonna break it down. Y'all all know the circadian rhythm, but we're gonna take one thing. I believe in a concept called small wins every day. Every single day, no matter who you are, where you are, where you live, what problems you have, you have the ability to win every single day in the smallest way possible. Example, you got up and you did your Anilom Vilom today for five minutes, that's a small win, be proud of it. But people are comparing and they go on social media and see someone's done a post and has done one hour of pranayama and all of a sudden you feel, oh no, I can't do this, let's just give up. No, it was a small win for you. You did something that you haven't done before. Another small win, out of three meals in a day or two meals in a day, you ate one meal mindfully. That was a small win. And you do it again tomorrow, it's another small win and another small win. And as you keep accumulating all of the small wins, guess what? You win. And when you're trying to accumulate small wins every day, you are winning every day. Now you can be that greedy person who wants to win everything together without putting in effort, without putting in hard work. You will never win. It's impossible, there are no shortcuts. And then you get frustrated and you look for more complication you look for more difficult things to do because you cannot achieve the small wins. So let me get straight into the solution. For the next couple of days, I want everyone to work on one little thing. Try to make it work for you, I promise you. It will impact some part of your life, if not every part of your life, okay? Whether it's your relationships, 
whether it's acidity, whether it's diabetes, whether it's pain that you have, whether it's feeling lethargic, whether it's a sleep problem that you have, we're gonna take one part out of the circadian rhythm and just do that. Sunset, okay, you can, pull, you can download an app on your phone right now that will tell you the time of sunset in whichever country you are, okay? My solution, I just don't have an answer for countries where the sun sets at midnight. I still don't understand how the circadian rhythm works over there. So I'm researching that currently, talking to a lot of people, and when I have the answer, I will share it with you, okay? And some places where the sun sets very early, like at three or four in the afternoon. So we're gonna keep it very, very general. Today, according to sunset in the region that you live, let's say today sunset for me is gonna be at 7-2. At sunset or within an hour of sunset, finish your last meal. Okay, max at sunset or within an hour. So sunset's at seven, at least by eight o'clock, try to have your dinner done. Okay, till sunrise, do not eat any food. Do not eat any food at all until sunrise. Once the sun rises, okay, you can even look at the app or your, or, or your phone to see what time the sun rises. At sunrise, don't eat for another one hour after sunrise. After that one hour of post sunrise, you can eat. If you're not hungry, don't eat. Okay, don't eat. It's not a competition. Listen to your body. Now, if you are on diabetic medication or you have a medical condition that requires you to eat, maybe every two hours or take a medicine after eating, this is not for you right now. Okay, let's make informed decisions. Be smart about it. Okay, for the people who can do this, please do it. For the people who cannot do it because you have a complication of a medical problem or a medication, there are still ways to work around that, but I, I don't know your problem right now. So let's try to keep it very general. So let's say the sun rises at seven in the place you are. You can start eating by eight o'clock. If you're not hungry, start eating at nine o'clock. Give your digestive system and your entire body a break from food. Let your digestive system completely shut down. No lemon water, no green tea, no chamomile tea, no coffee. No. Do it the right way or don't do it at all. It's as simple as that. No one is forced to do anything in life. We all have a choice but do it the right way. Don't do it the wrong way and expect results. So can we try to do this? A minimum 12 hour beautiful fast, sunrise, sunset to sunrise. Now let's say today, okay, you couldn't keep that meal within an hour after sunset. That's okay, you're trying. Maybe it was an hour and a half or two hours. Still do it. But what you have in control is sunrise. Don't eat before sunrise, one hour after sunrise. Try to do this. What's gonna happen is you're gonna slowly align your entire biorhythm with the circadian rhythm. And you thrive. Our cells thrive when our biorhythms match with nature. That's what I'm trying to get you to do. The science is simple, it's always existed, it's not my invention, it's always existed. And now we need to put our bodies in that environment of a new biorhythm that automatically allows us to sleep better. I have hundreds of thousands of people who are already doing this and they're like, hey Luke, my sleep problem sorted. I sleep deeper. Maybe the first night, the second night, Maybe you'll have problems because you're used to eating before bed out of habit. You may start thinking psychosomatically that, oh, I can't sleep on an empty stomach. I ate dinner at six o'clock and I'm sleeping at 11 o'clock. No, get through it. Sometimes we need to get through a little bit of discomfort before we achieve. Sometimes we gotta go through a little bit of darkness before we see bright light. It's part of the process. Some of you may do it easily. Some of you may struggle for one day, two days. If you get highly acidic, maybe it's not meant for you, but sometimes it cures acidity as well. So try it. Everyone is different. Everyone is unique. But in most cases, I can tell you one thing. People are eating too much and too often. Too much and too often. Your digestive system doesn't get a break. And that's where most disease stems from. Inflammation. We are constantly producing stomach acid to break down all the food we're eating. We're depleting our pancreatic enzymes because every time we eat at the wrong time, when we eat when we're not supposed to, we're producing enzymes to break it down. You know, there is wear and tear in the human body. Give it a break. The same way you gotta give your mind a break, okay, with rest, your muscles a break after, after workout with rest. Sometimes in a relationship you say, just give me space because you want rest. The digestive system needs that rest. We have internal doctors within the human body. Yes, you need your external doctors as well, but never forget that you have internal doctors in your body, internal physicians that are constantly working for you. And align, align your body with the biorhythms and you thrive. Everything starts to get better. 
The first time we introduced the circadian rhythm, I had a lady who was 86 years old from Siberia who reached out to me and said, Luke, I've been doing this for about five days and for the first time in my life, I don't have any arthritic pain, which I've had for 20 years. And I was like, wow, I didn't expect it to be that way. But the inflammation came down. Her CRP markers came down from 45 to below five which explains why she had no pain anymore. So when you put the body in the right environment, there are literally miracles that can happen. Now, I don't know what miracles could happen for you. You don't know what miracles can happen for yourself unless you do it. So a very simple thing. Yes, the problem is with people who will want to socialize, go out, fine. Go out on Friday, go out on Saturday. Don't follow this. But at least Sunday night to Thursday night, can you do a sunset to sunrise? That's all I'm asking you to do. If you can't do it, Five times in a week, do it three times in a week. But try it because a lot of people now who even socialize, they finish their dinners and they go out. They don't care because they feel so good. And they say, I go for a party and I tell people, I'm here. Do you want me to eat or do you want my company? You choose. I've eaten. I don't want to eat, but I've come out to have a good time with you. So it doesn't have to be your life, but these are examples of people who have changed. We think we're incapable of change. We think we have to conform to everything that society is telling us to do. But everything that society is telling you to do is also leading to most of the suffering emotionally, physically, mentally, spiritually, and intellectually. So you can still have a social life and you can still have your own life by making these little changes. Start off with three days in a week. Someone out there watching this may be really sick right now and you've given up, nothing's working, medication is failing you, nutrition is failing you. Try to align your body with the circadian rhythm, with nature. Put your body, that sick body, in an environment that is designed to heal. And maybe it may just start to work for you because we've seen it happen and that's why I speak to you with conviction. I don't have a diet to give you, I don't have a vaccination to give you, I don't have a superfood to give you. I have knowledge to give you, which we see working with hundreds of thousands of people. What is stopping you from trying it? I have people who have been feeling depressed and very low and sad. And when they start aligning their rhythms with the circadian rhythm, they look, I'm feeling better. I'm feeling happier. I'm feeling more energetic. Nature. Nature is a healer on its own. Stay aligned to it. It works for you. You stay misaligned with it. It works against you. It's as simple as that. So I'll repeat it. It's very simple. Let's try to do this, everyone, for the next 10 days. And if you fail one day, it's okay. Try the next day and you fail again, try again. But try to align yourself. It should be a rule. At sunset, my digestive system shuts for the next 12 hours, period. I can go out, I can dance, I can do what I want, I can read, I can watch Netflix, but my digestive system shuts, period. Ever noticed an infant, a child, if they miss their dinner time and they have to eat later, they can't eat at all. Their system's literally shut down and then you've got to force feed the child, which is a wrong thing. That's exactly the circadian rhythm. Children are very in tune with their circadian rhythms. So they miss their mealtime and you try to make them eat later, they just want to eat. They feel sleepy, they won't want to eat their throat tantrums. So we've got to learn from these little things, do your best until next time. Eat smart, move more, sleep right, breathe deep, and remember you care is all about you.